Hey, what's up? So, I made a video last time where I said I was going to change the exhaust. I did not change it yet. Those are still the stock exhausts. Uh, it might be a little bit windy, so hopefully uh, you're still able to hear me. I'm going to try to block some of this wind out. But I'm going to go ahead and start it so you could hear the before. And the new ones, they're on their way. I already ordered them. So trying to give you a, a, a sound comparison this is on the Indian Indian Scout Bauer Yeah, so I'm gonna try to block some of the wind out. Um, hopefully, you can hear it. It sounds like uh, like the Jetsons. Well, all right, guys. Well, I finally got in my Vance and Hines exhaust for the Indian Scout. Um, let's get to it. Start opening this thing up. All right, for now it looks like it's just three things that come in here. Let me try to get a better angle. Box number one. This is the first one. a lot it's a lot smaller a lot smaller than the stock one in case anybody's wondering for reference this is where it ends there's like another two inches on this bad boy or this is what comes in the box there's gonna be another box similar to this there's nothing in there I first opened that and I was like where's the hardware but it's gonna be on the other box so you got your hardware a plate, your instructions, and the two slip-ons. No knife. Doesn't come with the knife. We're going to start by removing these two nuts right here. It's holding on to the factory bracket. This is a uh, 15, 15 millimeter. These two are pretty loose, and it's just holding the clamp. Let's see that clamp back there? That's all it's doing. And it's gonna be another bolt uh, right back here. This one. Take this one out as well. This is the part where I'm supposed to start pulling. And what I've seen, what I've been told, is that. Uh, It'll take some time. So go ahead and start yanking on this, pulling it out. And you might want to put some penetrating oil right here where these clamps were. It's just friction tight. Maybe we'll loosen it up and it'll be easier to take this thing out. All right, so maybe after half an hour, I finally got it out. And I'm pretty sweaty right now. This thing takes a lot of energy. Oh yeah, this this one looks like it's coming out easier. Oh yeah, there it is. That's the second one. So everything that I took out. So that's pretty much gonna be this one. No, these are the black ones. They're gonna go here. The other one goes there. This one has a spacer, this one did not. Leaf bracket loose for alignment. So the issue you is bracket. I'm gonna throw that on there. They also supply you these two bolts. Number nine. Put it on the existing hardware loosely. 
make sure the bracket is going the this arrow part I guess is going to the front of the bike I'm hoping it's right yeah I think it's right if it's wrong then I'll correct it here on the video all right so this is one of the uh, heat shields the uh, hose clamps are going to go right in through here facing up that way you can secure it so the open part it's going to be like that see that and then you can secure this right here have easy access to it just like that once you have your hose clamps installed you can go ahead and uh, put in your actual muffler in there now according to the instructions you're gonna have a little bit of chrome sticking out it says about a quarter inch personally I like I, I don't like chrome um, I would love to it for it be like that but I think it's gonna misalign uh, up here with the brackets so per the instructions if I'm able to finagle with it later then so be it and then this this turns so obviously you don't want to have it all crooked like this you want to make sure you align the, the slash and we'll tighten that up and see how it looks so I have them all set up with the hose clamp and this is just a comparison of the new Vans and Heinz and the stock freaking torpedo this thing has I think it's massive so we're going with the uh, with the slicker look next up is going to be the uh, the clamps for the actual exhaust this is the one without the Vance and Heinz logo is going to be the bottom one it also explains it on the instruction the one with the Vance and Heinz logo is going to be the top one or the rear the bottom front top rear so for the bottom the bolt's going to go down and for the rear that I already did Vance and Heinz logo the bolt is going to go on the top next up I'm going to put what they call the uh, the dog I forgot what they call it inside the brackets that are welded to the back side of the muffler 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 sorry of the muffler bodies and attach the muffler body to the mounting bracket that are bolts we're going to go the, with the bottom one Man, that slides in so much better. So those are the uh, those two bolts going to the welded part on the back of the uh, back of the uh, exhaust. I was using a rechargeable mic, wireless, and it died on me. So. Uh, I'm just gonna tell you what I did here. Uh, everything, once you install everything, pretty much it was just securing um, all the bolts. So those two bolts uh, goes to the dog bone, what they call it. You're gonna start securing these band clamps. However, with those band clamps, it calls for 45 foot pounds. You wanna be careful. Um, one snapped for me. I will show you here shortly, and I had to call Vance and Highs to get a replacement. Um, so I, don't, I think 45 foot, foot pounds is excessive for that uh, so just be careful on it watch it once the threads start coming out you should be okay uh, and here I'm just reiterating the slash you want to make sure the slash is going downward with the with the exhaust with the slip on the black part and the chrome part and that's pretty much it and I don't know if you can see the bottom part it's a little it's going down so that's why you have it loose and then there's two bolts right in the middle of both slip-ons you want to tighten those up um, so that's pretty much it. Start securing your, your bolts together, make sure they're aligned, and you should be good to go. So this is the part where I was saying uh, 45 foot-pounds is too much. I, I set my torque wrench to that exactly. I did the top first, and I stopped, and I went to the bottom, and I'm like, you know what? Let me just go to 45 foot-pounds, and I'm torquing away, torquing away. It didn't seem like anything was happening until it snapped, and there it is right there um, I'm holding it in my hand it just snapped off so the bot the top one I went back and um, 
loosened it up just a tad, maybe a quarter turn. I loosened it up so it won't have a lot of friction there. And like I said, I just called Vance and Hines and they were able to send me one out. I told them what happened. So just be careful uh, with your torque specifications. Okay, so this is the finished product. Um, I don't know what happened to my mic on the other one, my lavalier mic. So now I have the uh, the big one here on the on the phone. But this is how it looks. We're gonna go ahead and start it. loud um, a lot louder than what I thought it was gonna be but it still sounds pretty good Something here, I don't know what's causing that. Thing in there smoking. But I figured it out before I post the video, I'll let you guys know what it is. But there it is, the Vance and Hines twin slash cut for the Indian Scout. Pretty good, pretty loud. That is all, and on to the next project.